When you open a book, you can be anybody, and you can be different nationality and different sex and have a different age. And, and so it's, it's like a magic portal to another world. It's a window into another world. So I still feel that way. Now Joyce Carol Oates is one of the most phenomenal and brilliant writers of our time. Joyce Carol Oates has published over 100 books since 1963. She is obviously one of the most prolific writers there are. The 2010 National Humanities Medal to Joyce Carol Oates for her contributions to American Letters. I have often felt that in a sense, I'm a very neutral being and that I have almost no personality. As if I'm a neutral or a transparent medium where this one thing comes by way of the medium and to being a book or some writing. So I always felt that I, that I could tell stories that other people were not telling. And I'm sort of looking at how some people are mistreated and there is injustice, a social injustice in our society. And one has to write about them. You describe the process of writing a novel as obsession, excitement, anxiety, then melancholy when done, and fear that nothing will ever mean that much again. Probably I was just being a little funny. But yeah, I do miss some novels that I really put a lot of my life into. Mm -hmm. And when I think back on them, I sort of wish that I was writing them again, or that I could go back and inhabit that time in my life again. I grew up in a small farm, which was really quite primitive. There just weren't any books, and there was no time to read. My grandmother was more of an educated person than my family. The most important fact, which was very surprising to me, is that my grandmother was Jewish. You had a secret, a lifelong secret, slowly revealed. I mean, what can I say? It's all the whole Jewish respect for culture and tradition and books and writing was all there. It was all there when I was tiny, but I didn't, you know, I didn't know it. The use of language is all we have to pit against death and silence. <laughs> 